Aloha. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to stretch a bunion right here and I'm going to be using five different main tools. This one here which stretches out and lengthwise. This one here that I actually put a device on and it goes right inside the shoe. And then I'm also going to be demonstrating a boot one. So here, again, using the accessories that come with it. And I'm also going to show you an option of the ring ball. Sometimes you can use this one, but we're not going to really use that. We'll do that on the hammer toes later when you know your toes are crossed like that. That helps. And we're also gonna use a little bit of shoe stretch, okay? Along with the spray bottle. So all of these supplies, it can be found uh, down in the selection below. I've handpicked them for you. So you're good to go. They get my top thumbs up. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. First, a little bit about me. My name is Terry Edmonds. I am a shoe cobbler. I've been in the shoe business for over 19 years. Wow, I specialize in really big feet. <laughs> so, and I also have a lot of customers that come to me for trouble with uh, bunions, hammer toes, big feet, all kinds of good things. So I have a lot of experience helping people. Uh, we are in my studio here called If The Shoe Fits. We're in Maui, Hawaii. And um, I also have a YouTube channel, which I do a lot of full length how to videos, how to stretch shoes, how to resole Birkenstocks, all kinds of great references. So you can go there if you need to find out more. If you wanna follow my Amazon Live, uh, be sure to uh, click the follow button. I'll be doing a whole bunch of series, especially with shoe stretching. I get so many questions. And um, this is where I'm going to use that to help you, the viewer. So let's get started. Uh, this is an actual customer here. She loves her favorite boot. And uh, she, just in some basic wear, she can tell that she's uh, got this, it's bulging right here. So as a professional, the very first thing I would do, um, it's low, um, so I could use uh, one of my basic shoe stretchers to slip inside. And I think I'll demonstrate that first. But I would actually, she needs it a lot. So I'm gonna use this machine rather than using this one. Um, and let's just go ahead and go there because we'll do the other one on the other style. So this great machine is good for somebody who um, does a lot of shoe stretching. If you've got big feet, especially those clients that are in between a size. For instance, I have a client who is a size 11 and a half, really. But in women's shoes, they only go um, up to an 11 and then they skip to 12, rarely 11 and a half. So you can do length on that. Uh, but for this one in particular, I need to give her a lot of stretch. So uh, this machine comes with some different options. This is the ladies foot form and the men's looks like it. It's just bigger. So uh, put this on where we're going to do, uh, we're doing the left foot. So I'm going to put that on there. Ah, let me go grab my tools. Hold on. grab this special little tool. It's this tiny little hook and you don't want to lose them. <laughs> so this goes, there is this thing on the back of this foot form and that's where this piece is going to slide right over that. Okay. And I'm going to slide that right on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, slip this boot on. So, and now uh, this one makes it wider. This one makes it longer. I want to make it longer to make it tight. So here we go. And 
And actually, I'm gonna do something else here. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna put, even though I could just stretch that bunion area, this great device allows for one of these again. So I'm gonna put this right where her bunion is, is bugging her. Again, I keep grabbing the wrong side. This is the side. And we're gonna go right. I think that looks about right. So take this, put it on here. It's so easy. And I'm gonna put a little bit bigger one. There's just a little bit bigger one. It's gonna go right here. I think I'll bring it right there. I'm gonna take my little part, put it right on here, okay? And we are going to stick this right inside here. Like this. There we go. And we're gonna turn this so that it stretches out. I'll turn it to the side for you. Go. I get a lot of customers that have bunions <laughs> wearing, you know, those cute shoes sometimes. And you can be cute and comfortable, but a lot of the cute stuff is high and high heels and it creates that pressure right on the bunion there. Yeah, so. Okay, so I can feel this part is at the very tip right here and it's uh it's really tight see okay now and we can see right here where this uh that device is so now i'm going to go ahead and turn this which is going to make the front of this it's going to make this open like that and let's see here so there's a little device right here that tells you if it's moving back, it means it's opening up. And this is very easy to do. I, this machine's, I think it's affordable to somebody who's got uh, really an issue. Like this lady, she, I have to do this to all of her shoes. And even on some of the cloth shoes that can't be stretched, I have to cut you know, I, I cut a hole, put some material on top of it and stitch it so that her foot can move. But let's see if you can see that here. Uh, it's just got a nice puka right where, uh, you know, bubble where that is. And there we go. Now, I have taken, um, when I make, I like this because it's easy to, to put on the shoe. Um, I take my shoe stretch, okay? And this is really great. And you just, just put a little bit in there. This is um, mostly water. It's like nine parts um, stretch to, uh, I'm sorry, one part shoe stretch to 10 parts water. So I just put a little shoe stretch in there. So easy. I like to do that. And, I want this to really get a good stretch, really stretch. So here we go, spritz, easy, okay. Let's do the next side. So again, and just from natural wear, you can see this, I mean, uh, I can see that I'll get a little close up maybe in the next video for you guys. But generally this is the bunion area and let's move this for a minute. Think, I'm going to show you this device. This one is awesome. It will get all kinds of areas. So when I really need a good stretch, I'll stick this inside the shoe. Let me open this up. Um, so mine is a very old. Let me just show you how it works first before I blab. Here we go. Boom. Done. Look at that. It's got this great, great, um, indentation that's just really going to stretch that leather and um, make it more flexible. So I would do one here and I would let that sit for maybe, you know, maybe overnight. And I'm not applying any heat or anything to it. I could shoot, use this if I wanted. Okay. But then I'd want to go back in the next day and see it's already making a mark. Um, 
but you really want to leave it overnight. You want that leather to just totally stretch. Um, but after I did this, I would go ahead and move it now, maybe move it up just a little bit to try to get up in there more. Like this, boom, done. And yours comes with a little ring, a little twisty that holds this. Mine's really old. I got it when I bought my shoe business, but that tells you how much I love it. I keep it, I use it. So you should get yourself one. It's great for all kinds of problem spots. So there we go, okay, that's another option. But I'm gonna do it a different way. Let's show another tool. So now let's go ahead and use, I think this one will work. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, okay, so uh, this shoe stretcher is also in the pictures down below uh, for the Amazon viewers. Um, this is a boot stretcher because it'll actually go into the boot and turn. Most of these others, see, it's straight, you can't get that turn in there. So um, so this would be good, I could use this on the shoe. This one's a little bit big for my need right now, I think, I don't think this will really even, ah, maybe it'll fit in there, let's try it. Because I offer you one of these as well. This is a really affordable way, I mean, it, oh my gosh, it's so affordable. You can get a couple of different ones for your different shoes. Um, but I also have the pink one that's listed down below. Okay, see that, easy peasy. And I'm just gonna slide this inside the shoe. Give it a good stretch. Okay. So, um, see this has got a really big um, puka. Uh, when you order these, it has, um, the box has numbers uh, zero, 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 triple zero, I think a one and a two. And it'll tell you what that size means. So I'm a ladies nine. I think mine is a size one. I'm not sure if I gotta look. <laughs> um, but anyway, I have all of them in every size because I'm a pro. But I think this is more the size of the shoe. If I had the right size on this one, it would go in further. But I can tell that this is this one's a little too big. So I'm gonna take that out. And we're gonna use this boot one. Uh, this, this is good and this one also does the length as well so um, you can twist this little guy and this will either go in or go out and it's nice it'll either hold and then this one is great see and it just starts to open the uh, shoe stretcher so uh, that's a really good one you got all different kinds of places that you can put these little uh, tabs. Uh, I don't know what they're called really, but they're like a metal bumper. And they fit in anywhere. So you could really, like for her, I could do it like that. She's got such a big area. She has a real problem. Oh, hello. This one doesn't seem to fit very well. Yeah. Uh, but you want to use the ones the ones that come with your set. These did not come with this. I have a whole slew of them, so that went with something. Um, but yours will come with matching ones that fit perfectly. Okay, so getting back to this, I do offer this on my cart in pink. I wish I could use the pink. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's quite durable enough for what I do. I do hundreds of shoe stretching, so and I've got all of these that came with the business, but that just tells you, I mean, these are like 50 years old, this one. This is how long they last. I put a, I, I gave you guys options. I gave you the high quality and then more of a, I don't need it every single month. So you got different pricings. You'll see there, I, I like these metal ones. These have, I think this is like an iron cast or something, that's what it looks like. Anyway, so this, and because she's got that bunion, I'm gonna see if I can get one of these guys to go in here. I think I'll, this one's pretty good. Let's try this one. Put it on the side, I think that'd be good, right there. And stick it inside there. And I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. Just a little further. Just 
So, um, yeah, you people with bunions, you can really make a, I should do a video on how to help improve your bunions and keep them from feeling so sore. Uh, I used to have bunions really bad because I didn't wear the right footwear, but I fixed them and I did it just naturally from wearing the right footwear. So, okay, so that's pretty good. I know she needs a lot, so I'm not too worried about it. And um, go ahead and give that a nice, really good stretch. So it's the same idea. You just twist, twist, twist. Yeah, this is great. Very nice. So this is how you would use this device. And I would take this out, move that uh, bunion piece forward a little bit and stretch it there. But again, and then I would also use my shoe stretch, easy and let this set overnight. Um, if it's a very severe, like you need a lot of stretching, then I would take some towels, some like I use the size of like a hand, a little hand rag about this square, and then I soak it just like super, super wet. And then I lay it on top of the shoe and um, just let it set there. So um, that way you really, the water gets right into that leather and you soak it and then the leather stretches, okay? When you're done, uh, when it's dry, maybe the next day, then you would take these out. Okay. And just um, don't put it in the sun to dry they should be dry anyway. I would let it dry on the shoe stretcher itself. So that way it dries with that shape. But look already, I mean, this is nice because it's a real leather, but it, that's not how fast. It, it won't go that fast. That will actually start to kind of blend away. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually put it on this one now because this is how I really wanna stretch it. I want this to get right in the front there. So here we go. I'll put this on here. And we'll put it on here and then again you want to keep an eye on these parts <laughs> uh, they're definitely not for kids uh, once you lose those that's no fun so hold on to those and there we go there we go again I like to um, do the length first so we'll just stretch that out a little bit and you can really feel when you've got the right stretch. Once I get this here for you. So there we are. Okay, uh, I can go a little bit more. And see this one's marked here, so I'm gonna bring this one back just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now, now I'm gonna go open up the width a little bit. So I'm going to turn this one. There we go. So this gal, uh, not only do her bunions hurt, um, you know, not only do her her bunions hurt, but the outside of her foot does too. The thing is, though, is that by stretching both of them, it really gives her foot room up there. Um, a lot of shoes just, you know, aren't made for the natural shape of a person's foot. Okay, this is so good. It's getting a great stretch on there. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. When I get my fancy uh, system all set up, I'll be able to give you a close up of what that might look like up close, but you get the idea. It's the same for everything. So. This is on a leather boot, which is awesome. I'll just spritz it again, because it won't hurt it. There we go. And I'll just let that dry, okay? If it were a fabric shoe, if this happens to be leather as well, look at this darling Michael Kor, hello, oh my gosh. But as you can see on the front, it's very, very narrow and the client's foot is wide. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna widen the front of this as well um, and in the bunion area. But if this were, uh, this is kind of a plastic, 
but if it were fabric too, um, like this uh, nylon, you know, the new Adidas and Nikes and stuff have all this mesh and that stuff's actually like a plastic. So I would um, just apply, uh, do the same idea and then apply a heat gun to it and very carefully, I did another video about it, um, you know, kind of far away, you could heat up the shoe and even in that area, but you wanna do it very gently, keep paying attention to how far you are away from the shoe and uh, that would work. On leather, I don't really need to do that. The water works really well, and especially this one. Um, this leather is so great. This is a boot that I sell at my store um, by the Soft Company, and it's a great boot, and I sold it to her. She loves it. But out here, we all have big, wide, wide feet, <laughs> including myself, so I totally understand. Um, so about the bunions, um, this is what you can do for your shoes. As far as for your feet, I'll do a video on helping with that. You know, I'm not a doctor, but I've been helping people for so many years adjust their shoes. I have a lot of doctors that refer their clients to me. I do lifts and um, like I said, if you have a bunion that you just can't get relief doing it this way, um, I would recommend going to a professional cobbler like myself. Um, I actually, you can send them to me if you want. Um, but you can actually cut a hole where you need the room like on her other boot i cut a hole here and because it was fabric it wouldn't stretch anymore so i put a piece of leather over top of it and then stitched it on yeah and i, tr I do both shoes at the same time so that it looks like it's meant to have that kind of patchy look to it i try to use the same types of leather as the shoe itself so that it looks you know disguised uh, but you know when you're really having trouble with your feet you, I some people will go to any lengths you know like just help me my darn feet hurt <clears throat> so that's what we can do there uh, the other thing that you can do at home that I very I recommend so much is you know I I carry a brand called power step and it's an or it's an orthotic uh, mine you know they vary between 30 to 40 dollars I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. It's such a hot product, uh, but it's the most affordable. I should have put it in my, my list of items there for you guys, but what happens is when, you've, uh, when you're wearing regular shoes and you're like a pump, let's say, and it's, it, it squeezes your toes, well, what you're seeing happening is your bones are sticking out, right? So your bunion starts to stick out. And then if you're not wearing an arch support, your this falls your arch falls and it really pushes it exposes your bone so you know year after year walking in those wonderful darling shoes they're really hurting your feet so you can fix that and the idea is just in reverse uh first you put some arch support up there which helps turn see how it just like turns that's the same thing with your toes okay so now you're getting them back into alignment and the key is to wear shoes with a you know a wider toe box if you you know something that lets your toes spread a little bit okay and that's how you're going to heal this bunion over time and it might take years but um, you know it might not take too long i just stopped wearing those types of shoes some of you can't get away from it i get it I love my high heels and all those kinds of good things but when i'm at the office and here I wear the power steps inside my shoes and they're really great and so I, re I recommend that for all kinds of issues plantar fasciitis all kinds of stuff so um you can always go to my youtube channel terry edmonds you can subscribe if you hit the notification bell it'll send you an email as to when i publish next um i'm pretty much uh excited about this amazon opportunity because i can really walk through the products that i totally use every single day in my business if you have got a wide foot i follow my channel because i've got more coming i'm going to do uh, how to stretch for hammer toes um how to stretch length uh how to, all, all kinds of good stuff plus i have other diy videos you'll see on my amazon shopping cart that i carry a whole bunch of stuff soling material birkenstock soling material people are always looking for that um I'm on Facebook also, you can uh, Terry Edmonds there. 
here on my Amazon shopping cart. I love that Amazon gives us this opportunity to connect together live. Like you guys are talking to me in Hawaii. Hello, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me in my studio today. Terry Edmonds signing off. And so in Hawaii, which means goodbye, hello, and much love. Aloha.